What's going on everybody? My name is Robbie. You're watching Geek Level Asian and last weekend I got to see Ghost in the Shell. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm gonna keep this short. The first thing I'm gonna say is there's a lot of controversy surrounding this movie when it comes to the casting, and I'm not going to talk about that at all. I'm really just going to be talking about the movie as a whole. The storyline, the characters, how it was adapted from the original manga, and that's pretty much it. This is going to be a pretty short video. So this new American Hollywood adaptation of Ghost in the Shell pretty much lines up with everything that we already know about it. It's got pretty much all the same characters. The storyline is basically the same. So in 1995, an animated film was created that was an adaptation of the original manga. I've seen this film, but I've never read the manga. From what I know about it, the major is a little bit different than the major that's in the manga. The Major is a code name for the character Motoko Kusanagi, who is played by Scarlett Johansson. So since I am never going to get this right off the top of my head, I'm just going to read it. She is a synthetic, augmented, cybernetic human employed as the field commander of Public Security Section 9. Say that 10 times fast. In the manga, she's a little bit more feminine, and I'm guessing because there are still images, there's a lot more facial expression, and she's really more in tune with her sexuality. In the animated film, she's more stoic, she's more doll-like, she's more robotic, she is a cyborg, and that is the major that we see in this new 2017 adaptation. That being said, Scarlett Johansson did a very good job. I'm not saying that she didn't. She actually, she's a great actress. I'm not gonna deny that. But there was something for me, maybe it's because I've seen the original that made it not believable. I mean, we've seen Scarlet in action sequences. We've seen her in the Avengers. We know that she can engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It wasn't really that. It was more about the Major's past. It just was done very strange. And again, I'm not really saying it's Scarlet's fault. It's really more just the storyline in general and how it was presented. When we start to learn more and more about the Major in this film, it just seems very distant, and it doesn't really seem believable. Now that being said, that is in combination with the fact that I felt also very distant from the storyline in general. I don't think the storytelling was done nearly as well as the animated film from 1995. That film is also known for its stunning animation. To prepare for the creation of that film, the animators actually studied the way that objects reacted with other objects in different scenarios so that everything in the film would look real. That is pretty awesome. They shot bullets onto different surfaces in real life to see how it would react on that surface. So when I say the visual elements of the animated film were good, I mean they were just unbelievable. And again, in this new movie, a lot of it's CGI, and CGI is great and everything, but it looks cartoony, but not the same cartoony as the original. It almost kind of reminded me of an updated version of Ultraviolet starring Mila Jovovich. The way that the actors interact with the CGI in that particular movie is just not done very well. And it's not like the CGI in this movie is bad. It's definitely not bad. I don't want you to think that it looks terrible. But when comparing it to its source material, the original Ghost in the Shell was known for its stunning animation. It was known for its amazing imagery. And this movie doesn't really do it justice. And it's kind of disappointing. Another movie with the same type of visual elements that I thought was great was The Matrix. I don't know why they're making another one, but we are getting another one. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of technology. There's a lot of gunfire. And I brought up The Matrix for another reason. Originally when The Matrix was being pitched, Ghost in the Shell was used as a reference. They said, we want to make a movie and we want it to look like this, but in real life. And I think that they really hit the nail on the head on that one. Now, I know that my opinion is quite possibly based, probably based on the fact that I've seen the original film before. And yes, is it nostalgic for me? Absolutely. So that's why I'm curious to hear what you have to say, especially for anyone out there who has never seen Ghost in the Shell, either the manga or the original film or the television show. If you've never seen the manga, if you've never seen the original animated film, if you've never seen any of the TV series that spawned after both of those, then please let me know what you thought about this movie because I'm curious to hear what you have to say. And if you haven't seen those things, I suggest that maybe after you see this new movie, you go back and you watch those. And then, come back and tell me what you think. Like always, if you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GeekLevelAsian. And guys, I'll see you next time.